Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy Games. We're back in Genshin Impact. We're with the Raiden Shogun statue, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, there's like little uh, colored uh, spheres, it looks like, inside this. What looks like a wing, I guess, from the statue. Oops. I should be looking at where I'm going, should I? Something we learn in kindergarten. <laughs> Yeah, and the sun is setting. Pretty cool. Is that part of this island? Oh, yeah! So I get to explore there at some point. That's so cool. Oh, man, the sunset looks so nice. In the horizon with the... Kind of, like... The backdrop to, like, the... The islands and everything. Oh, that's so cool. Ah. Oh, enjoy this sunset with me. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Ah, it has hidden behind the horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn. Apparently, Alloy is coming into this game, which is pretty awesome. Who else can they license? What other IPs outside of this game can they license onto this one? I am really looking forward to that. Anyway, yeah, there's like little spheres. Is that like the different elements or is this something else entirely i wonder what those colors represent in this uh and the wing looks like it's upside down maybe it's not a wing maybe it's like an electro um i don't know <laughs> um like a lightning rod or some some sort of i don't know just or just some like decoration <laughs> anyway we're back in Genshin impact and we're gonna continue the story um three wishes the immovable god and the eternal euthymia. Euthymia. <laughs> Three wishes. Go to Komore Tea House. Setting foot on Inazuma's main island, Narukami Island. For the first time, you carry your invitation letter to Korome Tea House, not knowing what might happen next. I'm kind of thinking I should wrap this up since we got introduced to this quest as we were playing through the Archon quest. And it seems like a simple task, so... Let's do this real quick. Chisato's letter. Give the letter to Kuju Kama Kamaji. Chisato, lady of the Hiragi clan, which leads the Kanjo Commission, requests that you help her bring a letter to her sweetheart, Kujo Kamaji. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's actually right right here. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I thought it was going to be like... Uh oh Oh. Oh, I kind of bugged it out, kind of, by trying to get into the map there. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what a headache. Sanada. Sanada. Hi there. Is there anything you want about Kamaji? Are you talking about Master Kamaji? What do you want from him? Show Chisato's letter. You said this letter is from Miss Hiragi Chisato? If this letter is really from the... That Ch Hiragi Chisato... Dot dot dot, I think... You should talk to Master Kamaji directly. He's been taking walks near the bridge recently. Why do we have to talk to this guy first, I wonder? Do we need to get inside the city or something? Yeah, I was before that cutscene. I thought like he was gonna be one of these houses, but uh, I guess he's not. <laughs> I guess it's all for for the best since I'm not like having to walk too much. I usually get distracted by like all the new and shiny stuff in this map, this new map. What am I looking for? Oh, there he is. Hello there. You are ah, you're the traveler from abroad. What can I do for you? About Hiragi Chisato's letter. This letter. Did Miss Hiragi really ask you to deliver this letter to me? This handwriting. It really is her. Thank goodness. Thank you for making this trip, traveler. As for the travel permit, as it's Miss Hiragi's personal request, I will naturally see it through. However, I'll need some time to prepare. How about this? Can you wait for me? 
at the Kiminami restaurant. What do you want? Why do you want to go there? <laughs> yeah, because I'm hungry, of course, and uh, I'm sure you are hungry too. Pop mom pops, pie mom pops up. Yeah, we're always hungry. Haha. <laughs> well, I want a small favor from you. Oh, he's gonna give us another quest. This quest leads to another quest. Uh, I thought it was just gonna be like, here's the letter. Bye. <laughs> But yeah, I guess uh, that's a good thing. People can't complain there's not enough content. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of stuff to do in this uh, uh, update, so that's a good thing. Recently, I was also thinking of sending something to Miss Hiragi. I wrote a letter and also requested Miss Kiminami to make some treats for me. I was planning to send them together to Miss Hiragi as a present. But if father finds out about my plans, he might be upset. Just as I was pondering what to do, you showed up. Is your father very strict? It's only a present. Is your father very strict? Father, he naturally has to be strict. I do understand why he's unwilling for me to communicate with Miss Hiragi. After all, I am a member of the Ko Kuju clan and one of the enforcers of the Tenryo Commission. Miss Hiragi is the young lady of the Kanjo Commission's Hiragi clan. So like, from what I understand, like there's like a bunch of different commissions all kind of like controlling certain areas uh, underneath the Raiden Shogun. So like they're working for Raiden Shogun and the commission, the different commissions kind of have their own independence kind of sorta. As long as they pay taxes to Raiden, I guess. <laughs> the Shogun. And uh, inside each commission, there seems to be like different like family heads that kind of control the lay people. And uh, um, I guess defend their lands or provide services or I don't know. Just like they, they're, they're kind of like have families that govern those areas I guess and uh Kanjo Commission is like the people in this area and I guess Hiragi clan is one of the families that have a bit of power I guess I don't know that's what I'm getting at least I'm not sure if that's the case uh, or I, at least I'm not a hundred percent sure if I were to get too close to her it would be inevitable that someone might try to take advantage of our situation even though it's is only a present, but in some people's eyes, it's a lot more than that. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's not talk about these trivial matters. Traveler, please wait at the Kaminami restaurant for me. After I approve the travel permit, I'll bring it to you. Sweet. I just, I just want to double check that I'm actually doing Chisato's letter and not three witches, but I guess with, because of the lack of voice acting, it kind of made, kind of, um, I should have known that it was just a world quest and not an Archon quest. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's up. Do, 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 do. I think I may have made a mistake doing the world quest here instead of continuing the story. Because now, I gotta see this through. I was honestly hoping it was just, here's a letter, goodbye, give me my reward. But, uh, I was wrong. Again. But wait, how far is this? Oh, that's not too far. We can make it. Whee! Whoa. The little, like, steam coming out of the water is, like, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect. Whoa. Eh, <laughs> stand on your roofs. We're ninjas now. Oh, well, there's a hammer on this. A hammer and an anvil. Amenomatogo. Look at these swords. Why are, why are they tagged with blue and red? Are they like training swords or something for sparring? Like sparring weapons? Kaminami Anna. Hey Anna, how are you doing? Welcome to Kiminami Restaurant. About Kamaji's treats. Oh, I've already prepared the treats that Master Kamaji ordered. 
I'll bring them to you now. But I'm curious about who Master Kamaji, Kamaji, will give these treats to. It's not. It, <clears throat> it's nothing more than a public relations gesture, Miss Kiminami. A while back, Mr. Hiragi Shinsuke presented my father with a batch of fine tea. My father knows that Mr. Hiragi's beloved daughter Chisato likes treats, so he told me to prepare some as a gift in return. I was worried that the delivery might take too long, and there might also be unavoidable bumps during the journey. So I specifically asked for this traveler to deliver them. Miss Kiminami, can I have a look at the treats, please? I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Hmm, sure. For the treats, please take a look. Everything is here. Or everything is there. Thank you, Miss Kiminami. Let us move out of the way, Traveler. I have a few more things to say to you. Okay, what you got for us? This is the travel permit. Please take it. With this travel permit, you can freely enter and leave Rito. Uh, Arigato Gozaimasu. It's fine. This permit will make your delivery a lot smoother. Also, here's the letter. Did you write- did you write this letter yourself? Yes, I tried to write this letter. In a... tactful manner. I hope Miss Hiragi won't be offended by it. Please deliver this letter and the treats to Miss Hiragi. Do we have to go back again? Heh <laughs> heh, but this time, you have the travel permit. You should have a lot more freedom than before. I'll leave it to you, Traveler. I also need to go back and deal with some official matters. Ugh. When will I ever... When will I be able to go there myself? Okay, thank you. So we gotta give up. A... Oh, we got the travel permit. And we also got Kujo Kamaji's letter. And a snack box. Are these all quest items? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I wonder what, like... This is all quest items, and they kind of just build up. I wonder if there's like a way to, I don't know, clean this up a little bit, because this kind of looks like a mess. Travel permit. A special travel permit that allows travel throughout Inazuma. With this in hand, you can now freely enter and leave Rito. I've been freely entering and leaving Rito ever since uh, I did that um, quest with the lady, escorting those uh, electro thingies with uh, Hiragi Chisato. <laughs> Kujo Kamaji's letter. Kujo Kamaji, Kamaji asked you to carry this letter that he personally penned to Hiragi Chisato. According to him, this one was the best worded of the lot. A box of snacks that Kujo Kamaji requests you to bring to Hiragi Chisato. It seems very fully indeed. It seems very fully indeed. It seems very. It seems very fully indeed. I'm not sure if I'm just reading that wrong, or if that sentence just doesn't sound right. A seemingly special Sakura Bloom? When did I pick this up? <laughs> oh man, okay. Hello Kitty! Yes, Stretch. Get ready for battle. There's so many quests, I've, I've been um, trying to avoid picking up the quest just in case it like triggers certain like aspects on the map. But I've passed by so many quest givers in this area, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we gotta go back, can I just teleport back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Weather. Experienced travelers know how to prepare, prepare, prepare. Alright. We're gonna have to be sneaky so no one knows. Oh, how did she get back here without, um, without an escort? I guess people only attacked when, uh, there was, like, goods on the line. Like, we were escorting a cart full of goods, so maybe she came back. I don't know, a lady shouldn't be traveling alone. Or did she come back with um, uh, the two guards, the one that's like simping for her? <laughs> hey, here, he he Chisato. Traveler, you've returned! I guess you're delivered by letter to Kamaji? Did you manage to get the travel permit as well? Yes, I have. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You should be thanking Kamaji instead. Hey, what's this? Treats? 
and a handwritten letter from Kamaji? <laughs> what is was it his request? These tricolored dongos. He prepared them for me. Uh I I'm like uh, using my body to make it look like I'm swooning. <laughs> Pret pretend she's swooning right now. <laughs> Thank you, Traveler. I'll make sure to savor these treats. As for this letter, I'll read it with great care. Thank you for the hard work. Please accept these items as thanks for your help. I think there's like a phrase that uh, in Japan, they they say when like, Okskare sama deshita or something like that. I don't remember. Where it's like, thank you for your hard work. It's like, they this is normally said in like, um, a business or like, an office setting. It would, like, when everyone's leaving for work, instead of saying, oh, I, I'm, I'm off, I'm leaving, you just say like, uh, I'm leaving, and then the people will be like, oh, thank you for your hard work, and then they kind of like, go home or something. <laughs> Who knows, I might need your help again in the future as well! Don't worry, lady. We're doing it in the name of love. Let's teleport back. So that's completed now, right? That one. Yes, now let's complete this. I am anticipating a Chiba Inu coming up. <laughs> I was uh, looking at the... Um, I was perusing the... Kitchen Impact subreddit, and a lot of people have posted like this little like Chiba Inu in a tea house. I'm guessing this is where we'll we'll meet him, hopefully. And uh, yeah, the community seems to really like <laughs> how how Mihoyo designed this uh, dog. It's like wearing a hu. It, it thinks it's human. It's wearing human clothes. If you sparkles, you must investigate. Can I break that? Oh. Just break people's pots like in uh, Legend of Zelda and hope like money pops out. Hey Hatchy. Hey Hatchy, how are you doing? Who are you? And what are you looking at, huh? Dot dot dot. What are you staring at me for? This tea is absolutely disgusting, by the way. Give me a crow's spittle any day. Fa! Never mind the tea, even the scenery is bad. What's with all these outlanders skulking about in Inazuman's shop? And they say that this is some high-end pad that only serves upper-class clientele? Hmm, <laughs> this place might as well be a straw hut for uh, as far as I'm concerned. If it weren't for an official assignment, I wouldn't ha have wanted to be here. Official assignment, you say? Oh. If it isn't all thanks to you outlanders, you sit and enjoy the fruits of others' hard work, and you always cause trouble. Take that guy from Sneznaya, for example. He's been good for nothing all this time. He just wanders around asking about things, and he's been around forever. Is it is it Scaramouche, or is it... Um, actually, no, Scaramouche is supposed to be from Inazuma, even though he's a uh, Sneznayan... Um, what do they call it? The Harbinger, or some, Harbinger of something? I don't remember what they're called, but like the, he's in the same group of people as uh, Tartaglia, who's also like a harbinger. And uh, is he talking about Tartaglia or Scaramouche here, or so, some other Sneznayan? Completely. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that he's been staying at in that lame old tea house, I would have. Bah, why am I telling you this? Who are you anyway? You better watch it. Don't let me catch you doing anything bad. I won't be so nice if you get in my way. Okay there, Heihachi. You seem to have a lot of personal issues to, uh, that you need to deal with, and uh, you're only being angry and lashing out because you actually hate yourself. As they say, hurt people hurts people. Oh, cutscene. Aw, uh, this is not the tea house with the dog. Uh, I was looking forward to seeing the dog in-game myself and like possibly talking to him. <gasps> How dare you? Oh, 
海外から密航してこちらに亡命してきた特殊な客ですねその格好を見ればわかりますあ、uh, we have a travel permit or what was it called yeah we have a travel permit そんなこともわかるのか I guess I guess we, if we didn't do that other world quest, we wouldn't have the travel permit. But I guess、um, we have that invitation from、um, Toma, so I guess that helps in this situation. Here's our invitation letter. Yes, only smart people can see. <laughs> only cool people can see uh, what's uh, cool about me. シャブ業の小さな保有地、コモレジャヤへようこそ。OK? そうこの子じゃな。Yeah, Paimon, you tell her. Enter Komore Tea House. ブルブルブルブル time. Time flies when contemplating life, the universe, and everything. Is that a reference to something? やっとついた。<gasps> There's the adorable little Shiba I was talking about. He thinks he's people. Yaksoko Yabuda Nante Hidoina. Kimitachkoso, Orenakoto, was the Tetachanaika. What? The dog can talk? But for whatever reason, it doesn't move his mouth? <laughs> And the voice doesn't sound like it'd be a dog's voice. You would think? A dog would look, sound like something like this, huh, wolf? <laughs> Where did the human looking Toma go? Oh, is that supposed to be Toma's voice? I didn't even, I didn't even recognize it. <laughs> I guess I could have said,、um, oh, he's talking, but his mouth isn't moving. And then the voice doesn't even sound like his. It sounds like Toma's. If I had knew that it was Toma. Where did the human looking Toma go? Let me think about this. Have I seen someone take a form in an animal in this game? I've seen a dragon who's supposed to be a、uh, Rex Lapis god. We, it turns out the Exuvia wasn't actually Rex Lapis. It was Zhang Li that's Rex Lapis.、Um, I've heard animals talk because they're adeptus, but、uh, I haven't seen a human turn into an animal. I know a dog when I see one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of suspected it. Especially since the mouth of the dog wasn't moving. Even though this game is like notorious to have and having like、uh, bad lip syncing when it comes to languages that's not the Chinese language. Come on, Toma, stop messing around. Can we pet the dog? Yeah, wonder what kind of weapon this character uses. We know he's a pyro user because of the pyro、uh, vision attached to his belt. But、uh, we haven't seen him fight yet. みたちを上場のところまで連れて行き俺たちの来航に立ち向かえる仲間になれるかどうかを見極めるためのね。真面目な顔になったからって、俺たちが許すと思うなよ。いや、言ったんパイマン。やりすぎたかな。悪い悪
I don't know how to do this. Can you help me? Oh my god, thank you! You're so helpful. <laughs>君の意志は揺らぐことがなく、屈服することもない。遥か昔、俺もそんな仲間を一人持っていた。しかし。you mean Kazuha's friend? You mean he died in a duel before the throne? Uh, Kazuha. Does uh, Toma know Kazuha? Because I thought Kazuha escaped with Beido. And, uh. Oh, yeah, Beido is the one who introduced us to Toma. So maybe there's like some acquaintance there between the three characters uh, Kazuha, Toma, and Beido. You mean Kazuha's friend? Yeah. Yes, but he didn't tell us what happened to the little cat that was with his friend. So will we be allowed to meet the Shirasagi Hime Gimi? Shirasagi Hime Gimi. Jimi? Gimi? That's uh, the title for Ayaka Kamisato, right? もちろんさ。シャブ業所の神里府まで連れて行ってあげるよ。Oh, was that the statue I was talking about in the beginning of this video? Taro Maru. Hello, Taro Maru. It's like me telling it to sit. Sit! It's like, I'm already sitting. Woof! <laughs> owner. He's the owner. <laughs> the dog owns this place. Woof! You understand me? Our wolf? Have you met someone who's smelled like me before? Uh... Woof. Just looking at it. At least he doesn't have his tongue out, like... <laughs> Woof. Who's a handsome doggy? You are! Woof, 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 woof. Uh, can you understand me? Our woof. Can I sign a contract with you to work here? <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Uh, there's no way to, like, feed him treats or give him a high-five or pat on the head or something. Whoa, there's a big chest back here. Don't mind if I do. I got a lot of raw meat and a beetle, apparently. Oh, look at these uh, fancy phases. It would be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> Whoa, this place is actually pretty big. What do we have here? Hmm. We have um some dangos. Uh onigiri. Hopefully it's tuna mayonnaise onigiri. <laughs> and it looks like some egg rolls. Or is that cake? Uh maybe some egg rolls. Nice. Oh, well, there's a little uh drum stage. We can put um uh we can put Sing Yan here and um It'll look like pretty fitting for her. Are you ready to rock? Yeah. Yay. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should stop fooling around. I feel like I fool around too much in these uh, videos. I think I've fooled around a lot more than normal too in this series of videos, in the new Inuzuma videos as well. Because uh, there's just so many new things to experience to see as I'm playing through. Whereas, like, in the past videos, it was generally just uh, Li Yue. And um, I kind of wish they made it so that this thing scrolled fast, even faster. I know they already made this scroll a lot faster, but I kind of wish it scrolls even faster. Or better yet, make one control stick scroll super fast, and then make the other control stick control the cursor. But yeah. Since the previous videos was just place that I've already explored and kind of already saw. And uh, unfortunately, what 
in games like this, once you see something once, you don't really think to go back and, and, and look at it again. So that was kind of the same sentiment to me where, oh, I've already seen these areas while playing the story. I don't have to like go around and uh, kind of snoop around and check everything out with a higher detail. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, hopefully people are enjoying uh, me just kind of taking my time and having fun. I feel like if I'm having fun, then people might be more entertained, I guess. But if I'm just rushing through the story and I personally feel like not comfortable with the pace I'm playing at, like, oh, I feel like I'm just rushing through and I don't really like that, but I'm only doing it because of uh, presentation of the story. I, d I feel like, I don't know, that that's not as fun to to do. Let's talk to this guy, Nakanishi. Hello, Nakanishi. Phew, Komori Tea House is such a great place to drink tea. If only I had an old classical text on hand. About books from the past, Komori Tea House. About to Taro Maru, of course. Taro Maru is very cute, eh? It is an old friend of mine. Back in our Sumatsuban day, it was a Sumatsuban day. Is that like a ninja? Ninja group? We were both well-known hunks. Ha ha ha! Sumatsuban? Ha-ha! I would be remiss to not mention my grand history if we're going to talk... Wait, what? I would be remiss to not mention my grand history if we're going to talking about... Wait, what? If we're going to talking about that? I feel like because I normally read not that good, I'm not really confident in my ability to read, but then at the same time, that sentence just doesn't look right. It, I feel like it should say, I would be remiss to not mention my grand his history if we're going to talk about that, like talk without the talking. But yeah, whatever. Back in the day, I was an instructor at the ninja village. Oh boy, I kind of guessed it. <laughs> no one dared to not greet me when they saw me. Taromaru followed me around back then as well. Oh, he's a ninja dog? Oh, that's so cool. Does he have, like, hidden knives that he, like, pulls out with his mouth and starts, like, stabbing people? Or he could just use his teeth, I guess. <laughs> uh, we served the Kamisato clan loyally together. Now that both of us have retired, I'm not sure if they can still count on those youngins. <laughs> They're probably still expecting me to give them a score, I'll bet. Nice. Did I go into this room? Nobumori. Is he like a blacksmith or something? That's weird that this is just one room. I guess if there's like bigger parties that want to come and drink and stuff, they can just remove this and it's like one room. But then again, like if there's two parties and one side's being rambunctious and noisy, they can hear everything from the other side. Nobumori, how are you? It's another peaceful, carefree day. May I ask who you are? Hello, welcome to Komori Tea House. I am a doorman for the Kamisato clan and I work here. That being said, I really have nothing better to do except drinking tea here. It's far more relaxed the days when I still had a vision. Oh, he had a vision. Oh, he got it taken away by the Shogun then, unfortunately. He looks like he, he deserves a vision. Look at his biceps. Look at his forearms. Look at those hands. They're bigger than like... Those hands are bigger than Lumine's face. Like, her, his fingers is like the size of a Lumine's wrist. <laughs> I wish they made characters that are buff and huge like him for us to use. Oh, like, I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The guys in this, the playable character guys in this game are all like tall, skinny, or uh, teenage skinny kids for whatever reason. And there isn't any buff dudes. Like it was a buff dude. I think a lot of people will like it. Give a little bit more variety. <laughs> Your vision? Ah, don't misunderstand. Even though I have lost my vision, I'm not actually a victim of the vision hunt <laughs> decree. Okay, I lost mine in a competition, fair and square. Oh, you bet your vision? Dang, that's a mistake on your part. When Back when I was a polearm instructor, I challenged Kamisato Ayato to a duel with polearms. Having learned the secret techniques of the Ki... Kitain school, 
I thought I was invincible. I was thought I was Muteki. But as you might expect, how could I defeat Kamisato Ayato with my limited skill? After losing, I had it my vision over. Ayato, Kamisato Ayato is Kamisato Ayaka's older brother or something like that, right? Strangely, losing the vision felt like letting go of a heavy burden. Those obsessions I had before all disappeared. From the day forth, I no longer stepped into the Kamisato clan estate and became a doorman instead. Kamisato Ayato not only has excellent swordsmanship, but has great skill with a polearm. It's really an honor that I can still serve him in an ordinary doorman, as an ordinary doorman, and it's not as if a peaceful life is easy to come by. As for me, I no longer need to slave away for the glittering little balls. Well, you to seem like you're still keep keeping fit, so you must be doing something, right? You must be doing something physical. You've crossed blades with Kamisato Ayato? Ah, that was my youthful ignorance. Please forget about it. In my current job, I probably won't be needing a sword or a spear. My skills with a spear are probably of little use. If you don't mind, please accept this. Accept it. He's going to give me something. Adventures, experience, times four. I thought he was going to give me a spear. I jump into here. Oh yeah. I check out their books. Does he get angry at me if I talk to him from this side? He's like, get out of here. You're not supposed to be on this side. I'm like clipping through the uh, the desk there. Woof. Uh, get behind. Woof. All right. Go to the statue of the omnipresent god. I think I just teleport there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Hey, I was asking about that. Is, she, is Paimon talking about the same thing? Oh my goodness. So those are visions. Oh, that's kind of sad. So that's like a Geo vision, a Hydro vision, and a, a Dendro vision? It looks green to me. I wonder why. what's the reason for there not being any Dendro vision holders? As playable characters, is that like a, is there going to be a lore reason for that, or is that just they haven't designed any um, Dendro characters, or they haven't made any decisions of what kind of uh, characters they want Dendros to have in in like the lore or the story? They haven't really thought about that yet. I wonder why. Like, I'm really curious, and I'm really looking forward to the day that uh, Dendro characters become playable, or at least. Um, introduced. I think the only Dendro character that exists, or is like confirmed, I guess, is that um, Bai... Baiju or something? Like Chi Chi's uh, Boo Boo Pharmacy master person with the white snake that talks. Like, he, apparently he's a Dendro user, like, and people are speculating that he's like a polearm user or something like that, but uh, apparently he had a Dendro vision on him, and you can actually see it. When you're playing the uh, the Chi Chi's like story quest, where she wants go uh, cocoa goat milk milk. <laughs> Why did the Shogun issue a vision hunt decree? Kimi tachi mo shitte no tori, mondo wa jiu no kuni. Riyu e wa keiyaku no kuni. Soshite Inazuma wa eien no kuni nanda. Those are some gigantic vision if. It is indeed visions. Raiden Shogun wa Inazuma no tochisha de ari, Inazuma no kami demo aru. Or is that just like, um, kind of like a depiction of the vision? Like this is like a statue in honor of Raiden Shogun, and uh, Raid like the real Raiden Shogun actually have like this, um, decorative clothing, this thing that she has behind her that she like puts everyone's um. Or all the vision that she confiscates into it. 
and like the the things on the statue isn't actually vision they're just like representing uh how the actual raiden shogun looks like on a normal day <laughs> その so the vision hunt decree is recent then. Huh. もしかしたら将軍は神の目が人々に変革の力をもたらすと思っているのかもしれないそのような不安定な存在は将軍の思う永遠にふさわしくないのだろうだからライデン将軍は天領奉行の部下たちに神の目を集めさせ この真珠百目神像は稲妻の永遠の象徴とも言えるだろう。なんか、ライデン将軍ってちょっとわがままじゃないか。君たちみたいな異教人くらいだろうね。そんな風にライデン将軍を批判できるのは。<笑> Only Baka Gaijins such as ourselves would dare speak out darkly against Raiden Shokata. <laughs> That upset face a couple times now. <laughs> what was that sound just now? Is it the is the visions talking to her? I I I could hear the sounds of people's aspirations. Aspirations? Oh disgusting. We don't want any of those around here. Everyone needs to be obedient and uh, do every do as they're told. That's what that's the type of people we like. Hmm.確かにそれはある言い伝えを裏付けることになるね。聞いたことはあるかな。人の願いが一定の強さに達したとき、神の視線がそのものに降り注ぐ。それが神の目の由来なんだ。言い換えれば神の目は。そのものの願いを代表しているもし君が言ったことが本当であればどうやら人々の願いは俺が思っていたよりも根強いものだったようだそう so vision symbolizes ambition and not power さあ鳴神島のお客人方そろそろ次の場所神里府へ向かおうか Oh yeah. The aspirations of all. Hey, Kojo is here. Hey, Kojo. I delivered your letter and uh, she was super happy. And she was like swooning over the letter as she was reading it while eating the treats you gave her. She looked really happy. Are you... Are you... Uh, you the traveler from afar? I almost mistook you for my brother's messenger. What with you looking for me and all? So, what business do you have with me? Your brother? Ah, yes. Masahito is my elder brother. He is in charge of military affairs in Kanazuka. I'm in charge of government business here in Inazuma City. While I was at work, I have been thinking about some issues with our recent policies. However, I can't really tell some of these thoughts to my father, the head of the code Kujo clan. When my brother was around before, I could still discuss such matters with him. Now that he is stranded on another island, I guess I can only steal with my own doubt. 
About the Inazuma's policies, I am a member of the Kuju clan and one of the officials of the Tenryu Commission. It's obvious that I should wholeheartedly support the decisions of our almighty Shogun, but I've seen the difficult lives led by our people nowadays from the reports I've received recently. The Sakoku Decree and Vision Hunt Decree. Are they really beneficial to our future? If the people aren't living happy lives, what's the point of living in an eternal state? Perhaps I am overthinking and worrying too much. No, you're, you're, you're in a position of power. This is what you get paid to do. <laughs> you're supposed to worry about your people. At least that that's what a responsible um, person would do. A person who has power over others. It's kind of weird that I did that quest with him. So we're kind of acquainted already. But then when we talk to him, he's like, who are you? I don't know you. <laughs> Maybe we just have that kind of face. A really forgettable face. Um, I think we end things here. This looks like a really good spot to end it. I will continue the story next time. We'll go to Kamisato's estate. And uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe for more. Uh, I guess if you want to see more, please subscribe. <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. And I hope there's more fighting in, in coming up. Because so far in this quest, there has been absolutely no fighting. Except for, uh, I guess, the trek from uh, Rito Village up here. There was like ambient mobs that we fought, but there wasn't any fighting within the story. And I'm hoping there will be fighting soon. So yeah, hope you see you in the next one. Goodbye.